Now we're gonna be showing you how to properly measure the T-bar onto the headset. Usually when it, um, these come in different sizes, most of the times when it's a 26 to a 24 inch, you're, you're gonna have to cut it down. And it also it's also gonna depend on how much you're gonna cut down depending on the, si the size, the, um, how long this part is right here and also what type of cups you have. Cause you can have the regular cups, but right here we have the twisted cups, as you can see. So right here, you see that we have two inches left up top. Usually we try to have it at an inch and a half, left the space up top right here. So we're, we're gonna cut a half an inch so it could be uh, proper. This is an advisory as well, that every time you're gonna go ahead and uh, do something, always double check your measurements. Cause if you cut it too short, you're gonna have to buy another T-bar but if you cut it um, not too short, if you just miss a little bit, you can still trim it down to where it has to be. So right now we have it at half an inch. So that's the measurement. That's how much we're gonna cut off the T-bar. Now we're gonna show you how to cut the um, T-bar straight. We usually use these two pieces of the head that comes with the headset. So we, we put that one, the first piece, we're gonna put it all the way down. The second piece, we're just gonna put it right there. So where's, just right in, in the middle of the line. Now, you're always gonna wanna have face wear that protects your entire face, especially your eyes, because usually when you cut this, flakes tend to um, come off when you're cutting metal. So if it gets into your eyes, you're gonna have to go to the hospital and you don't want none of that. So make sure your, well, your face is well protected when you're gonna cut this part. As well as when you're using your uh, tool right here, make sure that this part right here is tight, your blade, and that it's not loose. Now, once you're done cutting the part, usually what uh, we use is a file to make sure there's nothing inside of it. So when you put the um, stem. the stem, there's um, nothing inside that's disturbing it from probably going in. But if you don't have a file, you could also use a flat screwdriver, a flat screwdriver to clean to clean around the area as well. <laughs> 